Welcome back, everyone. This is Superstar Brother playing Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. We've got tickets from Don Pianta for returning Frankie and Francesca to him after he was dying on his sick bed. Now we're going to ride the ritziest train around. Let's see, I think this is the train enthusiast, so... All I ever think about is how this train cuts through the wind as it races across plains. Like a torpedo on Earth, slicing through the relentless winds. Doesn't it just fire you up inside? I don't have the money yet, but my dream is to one day ride this train. Yeah, well, I've got tickets for it. <laughs> okay, no more taunting. No more rubbing it in his face. This train is bound for luxurious Pashley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Yes, I am. Wonderful. If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. Watch your step, please. All aboard! All right. Here we go. Chapter 6 Three Days of Excess Mario's room. What do you think? Uh, oh, I forgot his name. Lefty. Ah, yeah! The XX Express! This is so deluxe, man! The three days to Pajley Heights are gonna be over like that! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Huh? Hey! You see that? Something on the floor! When did that get there? I don't know, maybe maintenance dropped it? Don't go to Pushley Heights! Get off the train now or a sticky yummy doom awaits it! Whoa! What a freaky threat! You don't think this could be Beldum's work, do you? Whatever this psycho is, you gotta figure they're on this train, right? Yeah? We gotta go get this nut before anything bad goes down on this train! Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go figure it First of all, I'm gonna check right here. There's a dried shroom inside the drawer. <laughs> Ew! I can't imagine. Okay, I forget. Scratch that. Maintenance doesn't come in here. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a dried shroom in there. Anyway, there's a shine sprite right over here. Alright, now well, let's go see about that yummy, sticky threat, whatever that thing is. Maybe the person next to the door will know. In the next cabin. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Okay, then. Maybe in number three. Whoa. Whoa, you look a bit like a big boy. You look healthy. Hey, hello there! You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train. And now I finally got a ticket! Dreams do come true! <laughs> I see. There are several gourmet food magazines here. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. Well, duh! It's the Excess Express. Why wouldn't they? There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, I guess we can go up and see about the engineer. What if we can find anyone else? Number two. Oh, you again. Well, hello there, you ducky debonair dish of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. What's this? A witch? Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. Okay. <laughs> there are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Typical. Okay. Nothing sticky or yummy there. Unless you think perfume is sticky and yummy. Well, perfume might be sticky. Who are you? Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star, Zip Toad. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion dollar art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. Oh, and uh, I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that, guy. Okay, somebody bring out the cute chick. Um, Goombella. Alright, sign for her. 
Okay, fine. He won't sign for Goombella. I mean, she's the cutest chick around! Engineer, we've got a problem! Greetings! Welcome to the Excess Express! I'm what is called the Train Engineer! Our opulent journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days! And how do you find your accommodations? I think that incredibly splendid? Yes, but we got a problem. Our furnishings delight the eye, but the sway of our locomotive delights all else. So let's all hear it! For the Excess Express! Huzzah! Huzzah! He's no help. Okay, never mind. Back the other direction. Eh, it's not a good idea to open this. Door may not be open while the train is in motion. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, come on, Gumella. Let's go tell somebody about this sticky, yummy threat. I don't know if it's a yummy... Th if it's yummy, I'm sure it's not that bad. Alright, come on. Hello, you! Welcome, welcome, welcome! This is the dining car, where you eat and stuff! Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummy, fabulous food! And this trip we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm totally swooning! I so hope he comes here to eat too! Yeah, okay. Just don't faint. Anyways. Hello, I am Chef Shimi, the culinary expert. Glad to meet your complainants. Uh, I mean acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap Cheap is my first language, you know. Cheap Cheap? Today's lunch is so amazing it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone on a pot of loneliness. You insist. There's a shiny stove here. It's been polished to a brilliant luster. Hmm. Okay, there's a shop in here. What do you know? So convenient. Let's see, anybody in room six? Hello, what's this? I am on my way back home. I have strayed so long, I have forgotten what it looks like. Oh, okay. And what about you? Really? I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Pushman Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes. Okay. It's nice, I guess. Hey! We've seen these guys back in Glitzville. How are you, Gold Bob? Oh, you're the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzalez. Bound for Pushman Heights? Well, it's certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. We are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bubby. Ah! <laughs> my, my, my. Hey there, Bub. Yeah, I'm Bub, and we're gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool! Aren't you jealous? Eh, yeah, I suppose. Whatever you say, kid. Maybe he'll... Sticky Yummy Threads! Hello to you, and welcome to the Access Express! I am the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Oh. But we've got a sticky yummy threat. What's that? Some sort of a sticky yummy threat? I, I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. Okay, fine. Well, we've done our duty. We've told the uh, conductor of the sticky yummy threat, and so I guess we can go back to our rooms and... Whoa, what's this? What's going on here? Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. A case? But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes! The case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously! Catchy. Indeed. That will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said? 
And, uh, uh, exactly what kind of dish is that? <laughs> I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of modesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. Oh yeah, he's not kidding. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. <laughs> the central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all. And this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman! <laughs> Accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand. Yes, sorry. <laughs> okay. Ahem. Very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm. Yes. Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is, and, uh, I guess that's about it, right? Right on the head. Ah, uh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys. I'm going back to my room. <laughs> you there. In a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad the actor. Zip Toad? He is Zip Toad? No! Mr. Detective Person? You're just making stuff up! You, you Tweety Geezer! Tweety? Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but... Well, then, who did do it, hmm? Huh. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's this? A clue! There are traces of something on the carpeting. Hey, this totally looks like spilled stew on the carpet! We can follow the trail to the thief, Mario! Hey, it might even be the same person who wrote that stinky yummy thread note! What makes me say that? A Goomba's intuition! You're exactly right, my dear! We are on the trail of something... It might even lead us to the stinky yummy thread! Just follow this trail. It might... Superior intellect says that we should follow it in here. All right, you. What you got? Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you want? <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, what were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Who gets stolen? You blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops of stew on the floor outside? No, no. I wouldn't know anything about that. No. People still spill stuff. Uh, only if they have something to spill. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Oh, yeah? There are several gourmet food magazines in here, and one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There is a large photo of Chef Sheeny on the cover. His smile is just blinding. <gasps> there is something under the magazines! Wow, how did he stuff a galley pot underneath the magazines? An empty stew pot. This thing looks like it was licked clean. How dare you! Don't. I'm sorry. I ate it all. It was me! So, you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer! Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid! 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 Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identifying you as the correct person to color the ruffian. Well, at least it doesn't take him so far as to identify himself. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. 
but we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. Alright, will do. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. And with that, this is Super Stud Brother, to be continued.